Hello! Oh, and welcome! Universe mode! Sonic's T. The end. Job done. Yes. There you go. Is us from the NXT arena? It's a tent that just transports around the place. <laughs> we, we took the, we took NXT to Los Angeles, California today for some reason. I mean, last time you saw us in the Royal Rumble, apparently, but uh, that was just a facade. In reality, we're in we're in this tiny little shed, and we're starting things off with one of the more heated things that happened in the Royal Rumble. Well, the Royal Rumble, the Battle Royal, when Victor and Chris Sabin well, Randy Savage. Both. It was both. It was it was a Rumble and a Battle Royal. It was a Rumble Royal. There you go. Or a royal, royal. A royal battle. No, it's a royal, royal with cheese. Look at the hanging tassel thing he's. Hey, he's he's motivated. He's ready, and he's telling people to hail Saban. Hail Saban. You can tell by the fact he's raising his arm up, and everyone is trying to raise their arm up, especially that guy who's asking for a hug. You can't have a hug. <laughs> Came to the wrong show if you want to hug. Yeah, that's it. Tension muscles through that jacket. Oh, that's a good oh. idea. What muscles? Wow, offending the talent already? No. I was saying that in a good way. What muscles he has. Oh, right. I, I am a fan of Chris Saban. Okay. Alright, okay. okay. I'll buy you. I'll buy you. So Saban is going to obviously be taking on the person who he had the heat with during the uh, Battle Royal. <laughs> I might they be definitely Randy had Savage. a bit of a back and forth during that battle. Royale. Oh, it's his face! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's Randy Savage face. Yeah, they um, they they kind of just went for each other the entire battle royal, all of it. Seriously, I don't I don't get how often they went for each other, but it was basically all the time, and it ended with Macho Man eliminating Chris Sabin. I uh, took Macho Man as the pick to win it until he was eliminated by the Big Show. I mean, I imagine that's, uh, you know, that these two, uh, don't really care as much about getting the championship. They just want to have this feud with each other, whichever, however, you know, whatever caused it to happen, but... Yeah, I mean, you got someone who's got previous success and is down here for a reason in Randy Savage. And then you got someone who you could see going somewhere in the future, but needs that, you know, that bit of experience, and that's why he's down here in Chris Saban. Well, yeah, I mean, Saban is a Saban has had a little bit of uh, success, but that was as a tag team exactly. with the Motor City Machine Guns. But now that he's on his own, he's gotta he's gotta find that way to uh, break out and be a good single star. And what a first opponent this is for him as well. What a night, ladies and gentlemen. very true. All right, so I'll, I'll, before I go through the card, I'll just ask what you who do you think can take this? We have, we have a card. Um, oh my God, Saban's been eliminated again by Savage. <laughs> yeah, it's actually written on a piece of card. <laughs> Guys, the, the Battle Royal was last week. What are you doing? <laughs> this is what they wanted to happen after the Battle Royal ended. <laughs> yeah, they, they just actually wanted to take it to the outside and just fight it for a while there. Alright, go on. What we, what, uh, yeah, who do you think will take this one? Um, well, I want to go with Saban, but he, uh, until that reversal just there, he, he's looking like he's struggling a little bit. Oh, the zigzag! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go, you're going to go with Savage from the sound of things. No, I'm still going with Saban. Oh, okay, but okay. I'm, I just—he's got to turn things around if he's gonna—if he's gonna actually win this match. Oh God! All he's right, gonna so drop on the steps there. The rest of the match card for tonight. Um, Heath Slater believes that NXT is his show. Okay. Interesting. Despite not featuring in the Battle Royal, he believes it's his show, and is beginning the Heath Slater Open Challenge. Oh God, this sounds amazing. So. You know, someone's going to be stepping up to the plate in that match tonight. God help whoever steps up to the plate. The H sock. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the H sock. That's what it's. H S O C. It's the H sock. <laughs> it ain't no cock, is it? <laughs> or, or if you drop the Heath part, it's just the sock. <laughs> All right, so the slate to open. Oh challenge. my God! He took oh, him into exposed turn buckle. What a heel! Oh god, there's real heat between these two. All right, I think, and then, I think maybe I think uh, maybe what happened is Saban decided to say bad comments about Elizabeth. Oh, you do not say bad comments about Elizabeth. I think maybe that's why it started this whole thing. Oof, well, if you're gonna do that, you just say. Oh, is he gonna get revenge? No, he's a nice guy. Well, if he said bad things about Elizabeth, though, I don't think that's. A Nice guy. Um, yeah, but he didn't eliminate him twice, unlike Savage. Well, he hasn't even eliminated him once. 
Exactly, which means which way. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Savage. Whoa. Savage, got you. <laughs> Savage is just all over the place here tonight. All right, there we go. He stands okay, up, so... he lays down, he lays down, he stands up. We don't even know what he's doing now. So after the sock, anyway, moving on, we've got um, Cedric Alexander versus Bram. Interesting. For our main event, we've got the final two men involved in the Battle Royal. We have Edge, and NXT Champion, Rick Rude. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see him with that title. Ravishing Rick Rude, by the way. Oh god. He's, a, he's the greatest NXT Champion since Big E. Oh god, we've done this again. Here comes Saban now with a Cradle Shock. Damn! And the cover. down, look, I put this one to rest early against Savage. There's two, there isn't three. Gotta do more damage to him. He's going right for it, up to the top rope, here goes Saban, immediately flying, gets a nice splash, doesn't go for the pin after it. Yeah, I mean, he probably recognizes that that's not enough to put Savage away. Ah, so sneaky Savage pin! <laughs> oh, not even a two count. Savage apparently is realizing that he might be in a little bit of trouble or something, since he's going for a cover after that. Mm. Saban just shrugged that one, okay! Michiroku driver! Michiroku driver. One of the greatest ever. <laughs> For saving. No, the move. No. Ah, yes. That's saving. Saving's got a while to work to get to that point. Oh, here we go. Savage. Pile driver. Oh, he broke his neck. He's not going for the elbow. He's going he's gonna to try and win this one. There's one. There's two. I uh, know. Perhaps believing that the inexperience of saving in one on one situations can help Savage get the win. Run around, he's running around. Here we go, he's going to the top rope. Sabin's still not moving. Savage, arms up in the air. And the big elbow. Pin, pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him. He's too tired to pin. He's too tired to lay down on the man and cut He's pinning him! <laughs> he's too tired to lay down on the man and hook the leg. And that's why you only didn't even get a two count. He can't believe it. He can't believe that after he hit an elbow, it took him a minute to make a cover, and he still and the same kicked out. Well, oh, there's a cut. That's what you get, Savage. You deserve that for taking too long. Well, you know, I mean, now go on, Sabin. Sabin. Do Sabin your own was elbow. A lot of a lot of stuff about Elizabeth, so I imagine there will be heat between here. Maybe. Oh, he went for oh. He went for the elbow, but Savage, Savage saw that coming. Surprise, Savage didn't bring Elizabeth out here to try and get a. Her own well, say in the situation. That's because I, I have to, to provide a little bit of disappointment here. Uh, I don't think we have Elizabeth under contract. Oh. Is he, can get her, is he talking amazing, smack about Randy Savage as well? He's talking smack about her and she's not even on contract. I don't think we're able to get her. I, I don't know. He's talking smack about a woman. Just a woman. Of the public. Of the public. Well, to be fair, she's still she's still you know associated with Randy Savage, even if she's not actually under contract here. It's highly maybe, disrespectful. Maybe Saban. he was saying something about how he met her at a bar the other night, and the two of them had some fun together. Maybe that's what happened. Oh, nice arm drag! Oh my, Saban! Super went arm drag! The referee was all lost and confused. And Saban and Savage loves it. He's snapping into it. Snap into a slim jim! Oh yeah! That's, that's what he said when he was up there. That's what he said when he was up there on the corner. I heard oh, you. From behind. Lovely atomic draw. But Saban's right back. This Put is a good match. Yeah, a lot of reversals here too. How's that? Heck of an elbow to like the side of the head slash shoulder area. Oh there. my god, what a counter! <laughs> good lord. You know what? Screw it. Take the title off of Rude. Let's have these two <laughs> fight for the title. I'd be down for that. Both these guys. <laughs> well, judging by Sam's performance in this match, he almost deserves it. He's been fighting incredible. Well, I mean, hell, if, if this match doesn't resolve those issues, maybe we should book a number one contenders match between these two in the future. Oh, I, I'm okay with that. I'm all for that. We just have to talk oh. to. Uh, we just have to talk to Freight Train because he's the one that books NXT. Oh yeah. Saban. Saban's now. happy. He says, "Hail Saban." He's got a bit of confidence to him. Savage crawling towards the ropes. Oh. Never mind. Stopped in his track. Saban picks him up. Cradle shock. Slams him down again. 
Savage just really has to move his, his leg and he'll kick out of it. No! I meant to say rope break, but instead kick out of it came into my mind. Too many things going on at once. It's NXT, who really cares? NXT, NXT. Oh my god, what a groin shot there. That's a disqualification. Ah, uh, nah, Tom drops a pick for Kick to the face. Good work there. He's got him dazed. Saban can capitalize here. Northern Lights. Can it really bridge? No. Pick him again pick right it. away, though. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Went for something. <laughs> went for some sort of cutter there and got reversed. Good elbow by Savage. Looking to capitalize. Back breaker. Good lord. This might end up being one of the matches of the week. Savage. Uh, this is amazing. Dropping a knee onto the face of Sabin. Go on, Savage. Go to the top rope. No, he's going for the pin. Savage looking for the win off of that big knee. No. I think these two are trying to prove right here to all of us that that they don't deserve to be on NXT. This is what this is what some of the good stuff of NXT can bring you. Here we go. Top rope. No, he's telling him to get up. Maybe he's going for the patented double axe handle of his. Oh, we could see it. Savage off the top. Yes, arms up in the air. Double axe handle. Oh, my goodness. That's it. Savage that's right back up to his feet. Savage just no sells it. <laughs> Maybe Saban snapping into it. it. Double, re triple reversals, basically. Good Same Lord. with an arm up. Well, that was kind of dumb. I don't know why he thought that. Got caught there. He's reversed again, though. Good this, Lord. This is a great way to kick off NXT. What can Saban go for here? Another Northern Lights. Like this one with the bridge. Will I put away Savage? He's got one, two. No. I mean, this is technically the first one-on-one -on -one match of NXT since, you know, way back in the day whenever that... <laughs> Oh, here we go again. <laughs> but this is the first. This is the first one-on-one -on -one match of NXT, though. So I mean, oh. it's they've definitely going out here and having a hell of a back and forth match. Making making the first one one to remember. Jawbreaker, save it with an Insiguri. Looks like he caught Savage going for something there too, and he went to go do that. Oh, but Savage right back in it with a reversal. Save with a quickly like stopping that fight. This is. It's like these two are fighting for a for a main roster contract or something. They're just going back and forth trying to. Impress everybody. I think with the uh, if you know if you're scouting down you, you gotta look at these two right now with the performance they're putting in. Well, as the as the raw GM as well as the best color commentator in the business, I do tend to do a lot of scouting here in NXT. Oh, here we go, Saban, looking for a third one. Has Savage in for a third cradle shock. Is the third time the charm. One, two. Three, it is Saban wow. wins it. Impressive victory right there by Chris Saban. Amends his elimination by Savage in the Battle Royal. I mean, you know, I I feel like we have to. Talk. I feel like I'm gonna make sure I talk to Freight Train about that to see if we can get these two booked in the number one contenders match. That was impressive back and forth there. Real, real good job by Chris Saban. There, gotta give him credit. And got to give credit to Savage as well for putting in a for putting a performance that is expected of someone it, like Savage. It'll save him indeed. Yeah, maybe this could be the uh, fresh start the Sabin wants, and maybe the fresh start the Sabin needs as well. Good job. Yes. His first match, got to got to say that. Well, there you go. Now it's time for the sock. The Slater Open Challenge, baby! Hashtag sock, right there. Or maybe it's a Social Outcast Challenge, I don't know. No, he's got Social Outcast. <laughs> no, that's supposed to say Slater Open Challenge, but he's uh, he doesn't know how to spell. Well, he is a Social Outcast, so it could be both. It could be both. It's, it's not his fault he lives in a mobile home. This, this is very true. Well, it could be because of the fact that he considers himself Social Outcast because he got taken down to NXT. Because after all, he thinks that he's better than NXT. I mean, if he's claiming this yeah. is his show. The Slater Open Challenge now trending, apparently, in no countries whatsoever. Hashtag <laughs> SOC. <laughs> trending right now in Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> and being hated by the UK all over. <laughs> Woo! Alright, there we go. 
who's going to take the challenge. Slater Open though. Challenge. Who's the first person to step up to the plate in the Slater Open Challenge? Oh, boy. Well. Shit, we've just burned down NXT. This is getting... This, the sock is getting cut off after one match. <laughs> That well, sock has been used one time and will never be used again. <sighs> It'll be wiping up a certain mass of heat slaters and not the one he wanted to wipe up. Oh my goodness. I mean, you want to talk about people huh. are, that are not happy about going down to NXT. Wow. I, I imagine that he's not one of those men that are too happy about being demoted down oh, here. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, to be to fair, say, though, he just, to be fair, he didn't really have a whole, you know, he hasn't really done a whole lot in no. the universe. He hasn't really done much of anything to really make an impact at all. His last attempt of trying to do anything was during that little failed run on ECW. Where he was involved in a triple threat in Steel Cage, in which the Miz won. Yeah. The Miz! Yeah, if you, if you lose to the Miz, you should, you're either automatically devoted to NAC or you're fired. We're still Seth Rollins, in which case, in which case, yeah. we'll let you, we'll let you go, Seth Rollins, because you actually only just lost the race to the to the end of the match. And we're not gonna get rid of Corbin because he's Corbin, that was a screw but, job. He kicked but, the uh, balls. But Okada is gonna be in fired or dropped to NXT. I think I don't know. I'm all for that. Anyway, as he's late, he's currently walking back and forth in the ring, trying not to shit himself. Oh God, there's the lights. Scares the bright light. Turn off the fire. It's getting very warm in this arena. <laughs> Where? Wait. We're... Genuinely, we stop the fire! I think we're actually are pretty close to that fire right now. What are we doing all the way up here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. My beverage is all warm now. Well, Slater, I wouldn't be that relaxed. Thanks, freight train. Way to seat us in a terrible spot here. Here we go. We're underway. <laughs> well, we're underway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good job. <laughs> Well, that's already over. Good night. <laughs> oh, yes. He's... Oh, yes! More technical wrestling. You know, I have to wonder if uh, the reason why he accepted this challenge is because he was left out of that 20-man battle royal last week on NXT for the title. I think it is. And I think if it's... You know, if you want to make an introduction... This is one way to go about it. Look at that, just beating them down. And I, I would argue that if we, if you know, if we put him in the match towards the end, he probably would have had a strong chance of winning it. I mean, I don't know. It is the Undertaker. I, hmm. he, granted, he struggled in the Pro Jade Universe, however, but I imagine that even if he was like in the middle of the match, he probably could have still had a chance of winning. I mean, it was it was it was an interesting night in that battle royal. We had Saban and Savage apparently becoming the two most hated uh, <laughs> guys who hate each other the most on NXT. Cedric Alexander making a successful debut and eliminating Stone Cold. The Big Show having a fairly successful run, and Rick Rude winning the NXT title, which is still the greatest thing ever. He's the greatest champion since Big E. <sighs> Oh, he's Slater! Scorpion Death Drop! Sting will be in touch. If I can even get a hold of him. No one can get a hold of him. Well, he still isn't answering... My, he still isn't even answering my calls, despite the fact that oh. he showed up on the Raw. Yeah, well... I don't know if you know this. Sting and phones do not go together. In fact, Sting and contact do not go together. Ah. Well, I'm, I'm learning. It's like Finn Balor and... Friendship. You want to talk about Finn? You want to talk about people struggling with contact? I still haven't even <laughs> reached that guy. At least we've seen Sting. Yeah. Here we go. Now the Undertaker's back in the, the, sw the swing of things. Jake oh God! Touch. That wasn't really. That wasn't really necessarily that like Jake's. That, that was more of a. That was more of a face plant DDT there. The, the difference is ah uh and va. Yeah. Oh, good. We're going old school. Going old school. Let's go back to school. I don't want to do that. That's terrible. Kindergarten, idea. junior, seventh grade, twelfth grade, college, university. Good night. Well, time to end this. He's later. Are you dead yet? If you're not, you're about to get the soft cock. The cock slam. Oh, 
Undertaker just one-handedly handling that sock. <laughs> Undertaker proving that he only needs one hand to handle his cock slam. Then he wins. Good night. Woo! Well, <laughs> the sock has officially succeeded in helping the Undertaker it get... The I believe you mean it's succeeded. It's, it's, it's so good, Slate has disappeared. getting Undertaker over. Welcome to NXT, Undertaker. You are not going to enjoy your stay from the looks of things. You know what? I'm going to... I know we just didn't really take the match seriously, but Undertaker's a very scary threat, i got to be honest. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I was Rick Root, know. I'd be... If I was Rick Root, I would be completely scared right now. I, you don't know what the dead man could do. You talk about Sabin, you know, and getting a number one contendership opportunity. Let's not count out people like Austin and Undertaker and Edge, who yeah. are, you know, they are well-known names who have provided... Who have, previous success and would be deserving of that opportunity, which will probably make Rick Root shit himself even more. Although, to be fair, if anybody gets a... If anybody should have a shot first, it should be Undertaker since he wasn't even in that Battle Royale last week. No. At least Austin and Edge were in it and got eliminated. Sabin and Savage turned into great performance, so they were also eliminated before even... Oh, it's Bram! Oh. Bram's coming this out to break up... This is how you do a sneak attack revival. Bram doesn't care about the... Bram doesn't care about Cedric Alexander in his debut from last He's week. He's trying to break his back right he off is. the bat. I mean, I think this is Bram. You know, we, we know Bram's a bit of a loose cannon. He was a part of the Brood and everything. And, of course, the Brood is still a thing on Raw, maybe. I don't know. We don't know anything about Kevin Thorne right now. Well, but... I, last I heard, Kane is is trying to find somebody. That's oh, all boy. I've heard. Okay. But um, Bram has been left down here, and that must not make Bram that happy. Well, no. I mean, to be fair, though, Bram, Bram has really not had much of a career in the Pro-Shake universe. It's, no. It's really not got going for him, so it would be, I mean, it, this is pretty much his last chance, really. I mean, if he can't yes. really get something going here in NXT, then he's going to have to try to find some other place to try to work. Sorry, Bram. I That's like you and all, but cold hard facts. have to speak things up. Just the facts. Mm. And, well, Bram is certainly trying to show that he does uh, belong here with an aggressive showing right now. Alexander, however, with a counter. What do you know about this guy, this Cedric Alexander? I don't know anything about him. I just know that he made his debut last week. I don't know anything about that guy. I, he oh, looked impressive in that debut, though. I'll give eliminated you that. Stone Cold? I mean, oh! Oh, God! Running knee to the head there. Just, just standing there waiting for a tag or something? I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> He's also pounding called Burn. I think he's thrown off of over by. You, you mentioned uh, that he was part of the brood over. I think he was waiting for, for somebody to tag him in from the brood. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh like this. Beautiful move. And a kip off. That's some agility right there. He's squatting. Now he's taking off his jacket, so let's look at a kid in the crowd. As Broom goes up against C here. <laughs> Broom! Apparently, Bram thinks that if Dean Ambrose can stay on the main roster, that he's going to use his his uh, sound from his entrance music to get over. Oh, here we go. Bram with some punches. He's got Cedric Alexander dazed and down. Good lord. That was a hell of a punch there. Oh my god, we're going to see the stupidest, something. the most stupid finishing name. No, okay, thank you very much, Cedric Alexander. I don't know what you're talking about. That's an amazing finishing name. Oh, oh Brain Buster. Ouch. Austin Aries style brain buster as well. Austin Aries is the master of the brain buster, so if you're going to mm. copy it, you're going to want to make sure you do it off of him. Doing a good job. Oh, here we go. What's Bram got in mind here? Oh, trap in the arm and clotheslining. Yeah, that's the, th that's the thing about Bram, and that's actually what makes him dangerous here in NXT is he's, you know, he's up against the wall here, and Bram is one of those guys that he will just beat the heck out of you. He's a tough, like, striking... Um, individual that will just sit there and beat you down and so being in NXT with his back up against the wall is kind of a dangerous situation well Sergio Alexander is going to be the first one to test that as he goes for another brain buster and nails it Bram's going to have anything coming out of this match it might be a concussion strike countered Bram again trying to get someone on the offense grabs the leg Oh my goodness, I've seen this since the 1914s. Oh my goodness, it's that move that that old Funker guy made absolutely famous. It's the he spinning spun his, toe, the spinning leg hold. 
We're about to go a swinging. Oh, we're going swinging to Crisco. Oh, count it. 73, 12, 7, Bobby Lashley. 1,000, 1 million, 22. Beautiful. That's it. Match over. It's got to be it. Oh, or not. Well, Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander is used to doing a whole bunch of flippy shit and like yes. spinning around and everything. So that okay, oh. that swing wasn't wasn't much of anything. He's used to being swung around like that. There you go. In case you didn't know, Cedric Alexander is actually an Olympic swing. <laughs> so Cedric Alexander actually will be a top contender for the flippy shit championship as well. God, I'm calling that. No, I think people on NXT are ineligible. Well, he's he's a contender of the NXT version of the Flippy Shit Championship. He'll be the inaugural. There you go. Unlike the unlike Rick Rude being the inaugural NXT champion. <laughs> need to stop that. Ladies oh and gentlemen, God. if you want to hear, if you want to hear uh, if you want to get Zakrisco over here triggered, just keep, keep referring to that. He's, he's spinning toe holding. That spinning toe hold, that most dangerous move in wrestling. We're going swung in again. Please go swung in. No, nope. he's gonna drag him around, and then he's gonna he's gonna. He's gonna oh use my the goodness, he's cheating! He's cheating! Will he do it? No, oh, but God. Oh my goodness, he couldn't even get the three count with his feet on the ropes. What the ah. heck? Oh, here we go, Alexander. Gonna make him right pay for it. DDT. Broom is doing a terrible job of winning this match. Mm. Broom, to be fair, Broom all is. he's done so far... The <laughs> trouble oh in paradise. Flippy shit championship holder right there. What we got? We got a brain buster. All right, I think your brain... I think Bram's brain is busted. He's now Broom. He now genuinely thinks his name is Broom. Oh, here we go. Serge Alexander might be loading up the, this move. You know, this one... Of this the lumbar check it's a beautiful move look at that breaking his back breaking oh. his back making him humble beautiful that's it it's over Br brims out there's one there's two well to be fair I mean <laughs> Alexander really hasn't been working on the on the back too much in this match so yeah you that movement really didn't do as much damage as he'd hoped for Counter by Brum. What, oh, Brum. A, what an AA there. Another, Another AA. AA. There's so many A's. Roll up! Oh my goodness. Could he get it with this one? One, two, three. Got him. Oh God. Oh, well, there you go. Cedric Alexander with an impressive victory. I'm not taking anything away from Bram, though. Mm -hmm. I, think he, he, I think he was in control for most of this match, in, in my mind. Apparently he's completely knocked out right now too because referee's checking him. Yeah, he's knocked out left. after a roll. Oh boy, are you okay? He's like, I, I'm so dazed right now. I don't even remember that there's an A in my name. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Cedric Alexander with a, a win in his first match. It's a singles match, I should say. Impressive victory, nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, Bram, of course, with his back against the wall right now, really does have to try something there you think you know. to try and advance. And if but we you think you know the me. NXT arena before, we're definitely going to be burning it down now. But you think you know me? Do you? you think you know me? You think you know me? Yeah, Matarango! <laughs> That's the wrong song. Ah. We could, we could make sure he... We could make him start coming out to that song, though. But, yeah, we could. And we don't have to pair it too quick. Oh, well, oh my yeah. goodness, it's explosions. Oh, that's the end of NXT. <laughs> what is wrong no, with apparently this Freight Train... Why is Vince the one McMahon thing that coming down to the ring? To do, huh? Vince is coming towards the ring with a walk like that. Apparently the one thing that Freight Train was able to do for NXT is actually fireproof the arenas. So, apparently we're <laughs> not... Know, do you know NXT. how he's fireproofing it? I fireproof this building with my smooth belly. I thought you were going to say he fireproofed it with a Luigi. I fireproofed it by putting a bunch of retarded motherfuckers <laughs> in the ceiling. Lugene. That's what you are, Lou Jean, a retarded motherfucker. You know, at some point in time, I feel like belt. we need to have Freight Train versus Lou Jean. I'll book it. There's Rick Rude, not even really 
Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. You, you know Rick Rude likes to put on a show, right? Yes. Maybe he's going to unveil the title with his body. Ooh. That's with the uh, noise of the uh, six the, women I can see in the crowd are making. The Ravishing One. Simply Ravishing, as his robe says. Also an NXT champion. Yep. Just think about that. Not that long ago. I, did, I never thought a, I'd say that. Not that long ago, he was a failure of a tag team partner with The Miz on ECW. He was abandoned by The Miz. The That's NXT how bad champion. he was. Oh, come on. Cut the music. You know, I mean, I wonder if uh, Miz has to be looking at this and wondering what, where things went wrong. What I'd like to have right now... Oh, we got some mic difficulties. Freight Train just doesn't know how to... Uh... Yep. Ugly... Yep. Inner city sweat hogs. Okay. All you sweat hogs better pay attention. You sexy man! He's a sexy man! Alright, here we go. Are we gonna see that title? Oh, are we look gonna see it? it? Look at oh. that. That's oh. what brings the ladies oh. to the yard. That's what brings the ladies to the yard right there. Look at that! That is... Rick Rude with a, with a championship. Who'd have thought? NXT Champion Rick Rude. It's our main event. Who'd Rick Rude. Thought? Versus Edge. Yeah, that's it, crowd. Start chatting NXT. This is what NXT represents. Oh, well, they're not wrong there. Here we go. German suplex, I'm calling you. Nope. German suplex, I'm calling you. Nope. German suplex. That was a German suplex. Sorry, that's Argentinian like a, suplex. Yeah, that was a variation. German suplex. Drop him on his head. See, he's not dropping him on his head. I'd like to, sp I'd like to thank the sponsors of tonight. Um, the donut I found in my fridge. And that one, uh, that one towel making place for providing towels for... Wipe us. NXT doesn't have great sponsors. But that's because it's still new. People aren't used to it yet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what a cover already. <laughs> Rick Root's going to try to do anything he can to get out of this match. Oh. Jubbed him in the back. Rick Root's still considering himself completely lucky that he was even able to win the Battle Royal last week, so he's going to do whatever it takes to get out of this match really fast. We all, we all are. We all should be. Execution. <laughs> Bam! That, that, that's not how you do the spear edge. Yeah! Mato Rango! Says, you think you know me! Oh boy. I think we're in for an edge that's gonna have some difficulties. Neckbreaker. Spear him! No. No, okay. Neckbreaker! That was a rude awakening. No, it wasn't. Yeah, well. He had swivel his hips. Oh, okay. It's like it's like the difference between Jake's DDT and everybody else's. You gotta have that one thing there. Oh, here we go. This is a spear. Don't what spear a match. him. Don't spear what him. You just speared his face. What a match. His face is on his groin. You just speared his face. Right to the head. To the other head. Rick, Rick Rude kicked out of the spear. What the heck? Do another one. The world has gone into chaos. Oh, Austin Elbow misses. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, God, we're getting into some technical wrestling now. Short around clothesline. He's going to go for the DDT. See, look, he's posing for it. He's harnessing his other Jake. Oh, no, he's turning him around. He's going to atomic drop him. Oh, no. Drop him on the lane there. I'll be back. Oh! Oh, he kicks him. And now J Jake's going for the DDT. <laughs> Jake Roberts with the DDT. <laughs> he even did the hands on and everything. Oh no, he's just saying it's a shit move because here comes the real one. Kick. Turn. He oh, he's got rid of the swivel. What? You can't get rid rude of the awakening. swivel? That's not the rude awakening then. You got you to gotta keep the swivel. Ah, oh, see? It's just, it's just the rude now. Yes. Ow. <laughs> you 
did my boob hurt you? <laughs> no. I was moving around here at the table and my knee decided to pop. <laughs> wow! Edge what? for the flippy shit championship. No, that wasn't that impressive. It was just a roll. If you'd done it backwards, then it would be impressive. Oh, he's oh. pointing to his head. Yeah, he says, oh, but you think you know me. <laughs> I think he was telling him the next spot of the match. Right, here. Yeah. Oh, what a shot to the ribs there. Oh, come on, look at those chiseled abs. Do you think that hurts Rick Rude? Possibly. Yeah, he could be. That might. Oh, what a shot to the head there. Backbreaker. He nails it. Working on that, that back and, and uh, you know, that torso region. And crack. Spear. His neck, his back. <laughs> Working on it for the for the spear. That would be. That would make sense. Oh, here we go. Edge gonna send Rick Rude to the turnbuckle. I have the hiccups and there's the DDT. Did it? Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Edge. <laughs> Edge got busted open and flipped all over the ropes. <laughs> and this has got it. This could be it. There's one by Rude. There's two by Rude, but Rude hasn't won this two. And unlike last week and all those technical issues, whatever, this time the edge actually is busted up. <laughs> Freight Train has learned how to press one of the buttons. Wait, press the button. What are you talking about? Oh shit, no, we get all, oh, no, we make him in the wrong machine. Oh my goodness. Edge is still in this match. He's not eliminated. Oh. There we go. It's because Rick would eliminate him once already. Oh, Coco, beware! Oh, good. That edge already has a broken neck. Yeah, you're trying to make it worse. Oh, and in the blood. Well, Edge, we, it was great knowing you, but Rick Rude just we think, your We neck. think we know you. Rick Rude just rebroke your neck. Is Rick Rude going to win? Um, oh, my. This. Oh, my. Rude Awakening. Do I steal my job? Yes. Right. I'm the best color character One, in the business. So two. Oh, my God. What well, else? He's complaining to somebody out of the crowd. He's not complaining to the ref. <laughs> he was ah. looking over the ref when he was complaining there. He complained, now he's got to calm down, so he's got to do a bit of tension just to calm himself down. Go swinging. Cesaro swing. That'll do. That's swinging. Good. We're going swinging. Oh. That was kind of a smart maneuver, you see. You know, Edge can't really uh, do the spear that well if his legs hurt. You know the fact he just did a running bulldog. <laughs> we're, we're ignoring that. And he's going for the spear. <laughs> Well, he's gonna trip and fall. <laughs> oh, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> well, he spun around in, in the middle of the ring. Alright, uh, Edge may have just won this match. Thank God, there's two. Oh my no! You can't, you can't spear Rick Rude's abs and expect him to stay down because of it. Those are those are rock hard abs. Ah, uh, Edge should know better. Come on, Edge. Why is he just walking around him and now he's, <laughs> now he's walking he's back? Well, that blood has dazed him. That's probably it. Yeah. We're going for a reverse swing. Not to mention the fact that his neck got broken. He's going to swing. Sharpshooter. One of the he's two. He's wrestling with a br broken freaking neck. Ugh. Edge will go to no lengths to try and mess up Rickwood's legs, apparently. What's Rude got in mind? It's an oh my god. <laughs> He's broke his neck again. <laughs> Edge's neck is now literally hanging on by a thread. Eyes uh, one. Eyes uh, two. Oh, he still kicks out. I don't even think Edge knows where he is right now. I think he just kicked it out on instinct. Well, these two men are actually really going for it, let's be honest. And Rick Rude may actually win his first match. Well, yeah, Rick Rude wants champion. to prove that he deserves to be NXT champion, so that's why he's really oh, going my. for it. Rude Awakening! It's Another one. one. Well, it worked early with the Cradle Shock, and it worked with this one. There's one. There's two. There's three. I Rick never Rude. thought I'd say this, but Rick Rude just won the main event of a show. Uh, I never thought I would say this, but Rick Rude has won two straight matches. <laughs> Rick Rude, your NXT champion, just won two straight matches, in, and one of them, and both of them were in the main event. How does that sound? One oh yeah! Battle. One of them was a 20-man battle royal. Another one was over a uh, a former great in this bit in this uh, universe in Edge. Well, now it just begs the question of uh, who's next in line for okay, the had, ravishing one. We had quite a few people pop up on tonight's episode. So Saban certainly impressed me. Taker certainly impressed me. Heath Slater sadly did not. 
And I mean, you, you know, with the, the amount of roster, or the amount of people on this roster, there's a whole lot of other people that could impress too. We'll see what's going to happen. But Rick Root's first defense will be uh, eight days from now in Survivor Series. But we'll, we'll see NXT next week. Before then, let's go in this episode of NXT. Expected to get much worse as time goes on. Bye. Yeah.